This is where I do my threshold runs. This is the Highline Canal. Oh man, pushing powder, baby, come on. We got it done. Oh, what a crazy day. So the run was about an hour and a half or so, but I probably did about a mile of high knees because certain sections of my route were not plowed at all. And it was, you know, 10, 11, 12 inches of snow and uh, as I like high knees, so it was a nice solid day of um, just embracing the, uh, embracing the powder. Uh, okay, here's my banana. Today's vlog is not about what you should be eating. It's simply communicating what I like to eat as a, well, yeah, I'll just say it, as a marathon runner now. So we're off to the grocery store, and listen, I have never taken like a full-on uh, course, let's say, on nutrition. Um, my, I guess, course in life really comes from my dad. He probably is the healthiest eater I know as far as what he, what he eats. Um, so my, my nightly salads, which um, I'll have later tonight, I learned from him. He, I'm telling you, like, he eats kale and spinach every single day of his life. So, like, he's a very, very healthy eater, and he passed that on to me. So that's why, that's one of the reasons I enjoy a good solid salad every single day. I'm doing it. Kale it is. Here we go. Okay, we've got the goods and it wasn't cheap man eat, eating healthy I get it like it's expensive uh, so that was not cheap but uh, what I really want to talk about today is a lot of different topics but especially breakfast I would say if I had to pick a meal that I kind of struggle with the most it would be breakfast I got the coffee nailed down a little too much so but the breakfast whole situation I just uh, think and maybe um, I'm gonna ask a lot of questions, of, especially for those that feel like they're really dialed into their eating, or maybe you're a nutritionist out there. You you study this for you do this for a living. Uh, but of course, from what I know, like breakfast is a really critical meal, and I think a lot of runners. Well, maybe I'm wrong on this, but they struggle with breakfast because if they're running in the morning, they don't want too much in their stomach, um, so they might have a little bite, and then they go run. And then before you know it, they're out the door to work. So I get it. Breakfast can be a challenge, but that's my weakness. So I'm trying to figure out um, a lot of the th items I just purchased is for a smoothie in the morning. But I also want to talk about um, eggs and protein and all of that, which again, I've heard is just a good thing to, uh, good thing to eat in the morning is a lot of good protein. So anyway... Leaning on to your, your expertise, everybody. That is the name of the game. All right, Let's see if we can't get home here safely. And we're back. Okay, Sheila, okay. what is the name of that machine that does oh, the Vitamix? Vitamix. Yes. So all we have is a blender, which we're going to do our best, yeah. but maybe down the road. Well, Vitamix is on sale at Costco, so oh. let us know. Boom. Is that worth it? We, I think it is. Who owns but, a Vitamix yeah. out there? What's your experience? It's basically a high-end what? Blender. Oh, yeah. But it will purify, okay. so there will be kale chunks. Got it. Oh, wonderful. 
Yay! Yay! Happy. We happy. Yay! Happy. Yay. Happy. All right. Liquify. See, even though this says liquefy, yeah, well, the blender the blender says liquefy, but I don't I don't that believe it. That was twenty dollars at Tuesday morning, so I think it's twenty good. twenty dollars. Ah. Perfect. Ah. You're okay, Michael. I don't even I don't even know what to put in first. I'm trying. I'm, I'm a little. Uh, I got to figure this out here. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's all being liquefied, so we're gonna put in the berries first. There we go. We need more berries. <laughs> this is the kale. Oh boy, how much do I really want? Okay. Huh? Yeah. Let me just, listen, I don't know what I'm doing, but we're figuring this out together, everybody. Okay, just a little bit, just a little sweetener. For the morning breakfast, again, I'm just trying to strategize, and again, it all comes down to time, right? Life is about time, but if I can make it happen, more often than not, I would love to be able to eat an omelet in the morning, not every morning, again, keeping in mind the cholesterol, but we got our, we got our red peppers, our mushrooms, yellow peppers, diced up, uh, or I guess, yeah, diced up chicken there, uh, sweet potato cubes, and of course, the two eggs, so. Let's rock and roll, let's put them on. There it is, everyone, there it is. Okay, so no, no matter how healthy I end up eating, I will not give up my condiments. Here we go, green dragon hot sauce. I just love condiments, so let's give it a taste test here. Real quick, actually, let's, let's do the juice first. So this, you know, kale, spinach, um, cran uh, the, the pomegranate juice, uh, what else did I put in? I don't even remember anymore. Anyway, let's give it a go. Mmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Tastes very healthy. Mmm, oh yeah, blueberries, cranberry, uh, blueberries, and then uh, raspberries. That's actually pretty good. There we go, empty plate, good sign, and still working on this. It's, um, it's, it's rich. I don't think I did a full glass. I think I could do a half a glass, and like I feel very full right now. And the trick is going to be coming up with systems to be as efficient as possible. For example, you, as probably all, uh, a lot of people out there already do this, chopping up the veggies, let's say, at the beginning of the week, so you have all the veggies, you just toss them in. You don't have to pull out the cutting board every time. That'll be key. But uh, I'm actually kind of shocked at how much kale and spinach is in here and how good it tastes. It's a little thick, so I can work on that. But overall, we're doing good, boys. Superfoods to the rescue. High five. Boom. Oh, yeah. Feeling full, feeling good. It's, it's actually, all right. I, I don't know, but I do feel full right now, which is a good sign. All right, here's some food we're going to talk about in a minute. And today's run in the Innovate Mud Claws. Good choice of shoe. I realized I probably could have taken the Arctic Arctic Claws out, but decided to go with the Mud Claws for that outsole, crazy outsole pattern. I think they are six or seven millimeter lug depth. They actually might even be eight millimeter lug depth. So they did great in the snow. The uh, these guys, the Gators, didn't do so well. I expected my feet to maybe stay a little more dry. I think these are designed more for maybe mud and grit. Uh, so anyway, but that's okay. Good run, 10 miles. I think I was about 8.40 a mile. So I'm feeling good about that in the snow. Again, doing some high knees along the way. Okay, um, let's see. Food. I didn't film everything that I ate today. I have done that before in the past, but... Um, Usually, and this is where I'm struggling with breakfast, usually I will have like a, a bobo bar, maybe a couple bobo bars, uh, maybe a muffin, and then I'm kind of out the door or a banana, and then I'm gone. Like it's just like I'm gone for the day, whether it's with filming, whether it's with running. Um, so that's where I'm just thinking and strategizing with your help in a minute, how could I do better for breakfast? Just to give me a little more oomph, you know what I mean? And because I must say, I do get a little hungry in the afternoon, so if I'm putting a little more protein into the body in the morning, um, that is my thought process. But I want to hear your thoughts as well. And with respect to carbohydrates, you're probably wondering, uh, because you see me eat a lot of salads, I like to eat salads, it just makes, me, I frankly feel better after having a good, like a consistent salad every day. Um, because when I was in Argentina, I didn't feel great. I don't know, it was just like I felt a little down 
And when I was over in uh, Amsterdam, I made sure to go buy salads. I think I remember, I think I filmed it actually. I went to the grocery store and bought salads and brought them back to my motel room just because, I don't know, it just, I feel better when I eat a good solid salad. But for my carbs, now listen, I don't eat cereal. Um, I love cereal. I could eat cereal all day, every day. Uh, but I know, like, I'll have granola uh, every now and then. But for me, like, I try to stay away from cereal. Um, and then I don't eat a lot of bread. Um, I'll have a donut every now and then. And I don't eat a lot of, we don't eat a lot of pasta either. We have, like, meat. We'll have rice every now and then. We'll have a veggies. But I'm just really loving my salads at night. But for my carbs, because we need carbs as runners, um, I'm not a believer in like no carbs, just so you know. Um, so my Bobo bars, believe it or not, where is it? They do have carbs, it says somewhere on here. 41 grams, so it uh, looks like it's saying 13% of the daily value in just one Bobo bar. I, <laughs> so I love nuts, all right? I could eat nuts all the time. And these are actually honey roasted peanuts, and these are coconut cashew uh, cashews. So these are kind of my dessert of the day. Like it's, um, and let's see for carbs on here, it's looking at 15 grams, uh, for a serving out of this. And I'll probably have a hand, like I'll probably have a handful out of both bag every single day. This is what I eat at night when I'm editing late and I need a little, a little pick me up are these nuts. So this is kind of my treat. And in addition for carbs, if you want to, you know, if you, if we're talking about carbs, ah, uh, I could eat chips and salsa. Oh, so much. So these are veggie and flaxseed tortilla chips from Trader Joe's. Boom. Favorite chip on the planet. So they're, I don't know, I hope they're, maybe they're a little healthier than typical uh, tortilla chips. But uh, as far as carbs from this, we're looking at uh, about a bing, about a boom. Help me out, people. Where are we looking? 17 grams. So, and who knows? Like, I go for it sometimes with respect to my chips and salsa. And who knows? Maybe the salsa is kind of healthy because there's veggies in the salsa. And we get, like, the chunky salsa with, like, real veggies chopped up. And at least I, that's what I tell myself, that there's real veggies in there. So anyway, that's a little overview of what I eat in a day. Uh, but the question of the day, what do you eat for breakfast? And... Uh, do you have any ideas for recipes to share with this entire global running family for breakfast specifically? I need help. I'm sure there's other folks out there that struggle a little bit with like what to eat for breakfast that's going to give them enough energy for the rest of the day. And yes, most importantly, for our running. I hope I covered everything. I know that was a lot and I'm probably missing some things that I eat throughout the day. Let me just rack my brain real quick. Boom, 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 boom. I think that's it. All right. All right. We are off to date night. I'm going to get one more clip at the, uh, at the restaurant. You'll see what True Love and I are eating for date night. Here we go. See you there. Like right now. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Look what I got for dinner. All oh, salmon salad. Trying to eat healthy. True Love's got the steak. Oh, yeah. There it is. Potato soup. And what else we got on the table? And there it is, there it is, <laughs> butter it, butter it. There's the famous butter. All right, everyone, closing it out. Thanks for watching the uh, marathon training eating vlog. Oh, yeah, uh, good. Right, not too shabby. Feeling good. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. We'll see you tomorrow, you two. Bye.